Would you like to share some of your memories of the time when this was Adelaide Road Synagogue? I would indeed. When the Lennox Street Synagogue uh, dwindled in size and was only holding services a couple of times a year, my family moved to this synagogue. So I, being, I was going here from a very early age um, until it closed. I did my bar mitzvah here, my brother David did his bar mitzvah here, and my sister Rachel did her bat mitzvah here. My memories of the synagogue are very much tied up with its beauty inside. As you can see from the outside, it's a very, very ornate and beautiful building, and the decor inside was very intricate with some lovely features. My other overriding memory of the synagogue is the synagogue prided itself on its wonderful cantorial singing and its choir. It had a permanent choir and it had a cantor called Reverend Halpert who was of Eastern European extraction and he had the most achingly emotional, beautiful cantorial voice. And there was a choir that had some really, really wonderful singers in it. And for my sins, and even though I couldn't sing, somehow or other, because I could speak, read Hebrew quite well, I was put in the choir. And I remember the first pay packet I ever got in my life, believe it or not, you actually got paid for being in the choir. And we used to rehearse downstairs during the week on a weeknight for the choir in the Leslie Golding Hall. And then on Saturday mornings, we would sing in the choir. So the first pay packet I ever got in my life was for choir duty. So I remember that there were some wonderful voices. The choir master was Izzy Bernstein. He had a brother, I think, called Max. There was a wonderful bellowing, booming singer called Joey Morrison. And there was a classmate of mine called Carl Nelkin. How is this area changed? Well, from being back at the turn of the century and right through to the 1920s, 30s, and even into the 50s, it's interesting how the demographic has changed. If you walk down Clambrassel Street and up around South Circular Road where the mosque is now and down on Clambrassel Street where you see halal meat shops, Islamic relief, you notice the demographic is still immigrant but the, the content of it has changed and that's from a historical and migration point of view is quite interesting.